Yo, what's poppin' YouTube? Holla at your boy. Back again with another video. Today's video, Android 12. I'm gonna show you guys how to manually install Android 12 Developer Preview 1 on your Pixel devices. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a full disclaimer. Do not flash this on your main device. This is only intended for developers. I'm gonna go ahead and flash this on my device because I wanna see what Google has in store for Android 12. And if you wanna find out the same thing, stay tuned. I'm gonna show you how to get this done. So, without any further ado, let's go! All right, y'all, so we back in the building. So before we can go ahead and properly get this installed on our device, we're gonna need two things. First of all, you already know that you must have an unlocked bootloader. I'll leave a link down below on how to unlock the bootloader, pretty easy. We're gonna need the Android 12 Developer Preview Beta Images in the latest and greatest Android Studio. All of this is pretty simple, so we're gonna go ahead and get right into it. Since my bootloader is already unlocked, I'm gonna go and download the Android Studio and the images. We're gonna open up Chrome here, and we're going to type in the address bar up here. We're gonna type Android 12 Beta IMG and hit enter. And this should take you to this page. Let me zoom in. So we're gonna scroll down until we see download for Google Pixel Android 12 developer preview. So we're gonna click this second link here and this should take us to download for Google Pixel. So this is only available for the Pixel 3 all the way to the Pixel 5. We're gonna continue to scroll down here and here we go. Device factory images. In this area right here, you definitely, definitely want to pay attention to what you are downloading. Because these are all the IMGs. So you just want to come here and make sure you download the correct IMG for your device. So if you have a Pixel 3, you would download Blue Line. If you have a Pixel 5, you would download Redfin and everything in between. Make sure you pay attention and download the correct images for your device. For me, since I have a Pixel 5, I'm gonna download Redfin right here. Then it's gonna take you to the Android 12 factory image page. All you're gonna do is come down here to the bottom, you're gonna click accept, and you're gonna click download the image. Now, while that's downloading, we're going to go ahead and download the Android Studio. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna come over here to the side over here and we're gonna look for Get Android 12. So we're gonna click on Get Android 12 right here. So we're gonna scroll down here. We're gonna scroll down here to where we see Setup and Emulator. It says, first install the latest preview build of Android Studio. So we're gonna click this link. Once we click that link, it's gonna take us to a preview release page. You can either download the beta build, which gets early access to new features in a well-tested build, 4.2 beta 4, or you can come over here to the Canary build, get the leading edge features in a lightly tested build. I'm gonna go ahead and download the beta 4. Click there, and it's gonna bring you to another one of these pages asking you do you want to accept in all of this? All we're going to do is go down here to the bottom here. We're going to click, I have agreed. Then we're going to click download Android Studio 4.2 beta for Windows. So we're going to click that download. Once those items are finished downloading, you can close this out. Once your download is done, you want to go ahead, open up the download folder and go to your download. And you want to drag both of those two files we just downloaded, the Android Studio and Android 12 Beta Zip. Put them to your desktop, let me zoom in. So yeah, here are the two downloads I have. And first, we're gonna go ahead, install this Android Studio. Double click the Android Studio Zip. So inside of this zip, you're gonna see an Android Studio file. We're gonna take this file, drag it and drop it to the desktop. Now once that's done, you can go ahead and close this out. Once you drag and drop that to the desktop, you should have a Android Studio folder like this. 
and then you're just gonna double click on that folder we're gonna look for a file that says bin b-i-n and bin is this first folder right here so we're gonna double click on bin and inside of bin we're gonna scroll all the way down until we see studio 64 which is right here studio 64 now once you see this, you're gonna double click on this and it should open up the Android Studio. And as you can see, Android Studio is opening up. And this is what you get when you first open up Android Studio. So all we're gonna do, go down here to the bottom and click configure. And down here at the bottom, we're gonna click on the first one right here that says SDK Manager. So we're gonna click there. Now, when you first open this, you're gonna come to this page right here. And it's gonna be a lot of files up in here. The only one that you have to worry about, Android S Preview right here. You're gonna click this, and then you're gonna hit OK. Once you hit OK, it's gonna download, it's gonna do its thing, let it do its thing. So we wanna make sure that we remember this path right here because this is the location that we need to be in in order to flash this correctly. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and open up our file explorer and we're just gonna follow this path. So it's C and then users, PC name. And if you guys don't see app data right here, that's okay, don't, don't trip out. All we're gonna do is come here to the address bar. We're gonna type forward slash app data. Hit enter, gonna go to local, then we're gonna go to Android SDK, and then we're gonna go all the way down until we see platform tool. Not here because I've already done this, so I removed this out of here, but you're gonna see platform tools, not just platforms, but it's gonna say platform tools. You're gonna take that folder, I'm gonna drag it and drop it to your desktop. And once you drop it to the desktop, you can go ahead and close this out. And you can go ahead and close the Android Studio out because we don't need this anymore. And you can go ahead and close this out because we don't need it anymore. After you place the platform tool folder onto your desktop, you should see a platform tool folder like this. And we're gonna double click on that platform tool folder. So now we are inside of the correct directory we wanna be in. We're in the correct path in order to flash this correctly. So we're just gonna move this over to the side here and we're gonna double click the Android 12 beta zip that we downloaded earlier. So we're gonna double click the zip. Inside of the zip, you're gonna see a folder that says Redfin. So we're gonna double click that folder. Inside the Android 12 zip, you should see a few files over here. There's only four files that we need. We need the bootloader, we need to flash all that back, we need the image, and we need the radio. So what we're gonna do is highlight those four files that we need, which is bootloader, all that back, the image, and the radio. Now once you got those highlighted, all you're gonna do is drag and drop to the platform tool folder. We can go ahead and close this out, the zip out, because we don't need the zip anymore. We are in platform tools. So as you can see, those four items that we dragged and dropped are over here in the correct platform tool folder that we needed to be in. Now, we must connect our phone to the PC. Once you have your phone connected to your PC, we're gonna go to the address bar here, and we're gonna type in CMD, hit enter. And once you hit enter, a command window should pop up. And once you have your phone connected to your PC, we're gonna type in ADB device. We're gonna hit enter. Now you should get this prompt on your phone asking do you want to allow USB debugging. We're gonna click always allow from this computer. And then we're gonna hit allow. Go back to the command window and now we're gonna type in the same thing, ADB devices. Hit enter. And this time we got the same numbers and letters but this time it says device. From here, we're gonna type ADB reboot boot loader. Now when I hit enter, this is gonna reboot the phone into fast boot mode. Don't freak out. We're gonna go ahead and hit 
enter as you can see the phone has rebooted into fast boot mode so we're going to come back to the cmd command window here and this time we're going to type fast boot devices all right so as you can see you get the same numbers and letters as you did before when we did the adv but this time you have fast boot so that means the pc recognize the phone in fast boot mode so what do we do from here pretty simple is go over here to the platform tool folder that we still had open and what we're gonna do is look for the file that says flash.all once we double click on this the phone is gonna start doing some work don't worry do not freak out this is normal just let it do its thing so don't touch anything double click as you can see here it is doing some work so like i said don't freak out don't do anything phone is gonna do some craziness and when we're done we should be on android 12. we're just gonna let this do its thing don't touch anything don't don't worry about anything let this do its thing all right it's done installing when this thing boot up we will be on android 12. Patiently waiting here. Hey! And there we have it. This right here, let me go ahead and zoom in for y'all. And as you see, we are on the Android Beta Preview. This right here is how you get that done. Before we get up out of here, I'm gonna show you guys that we are on Android 12. All right, y'all, before I get up out of here, I wanted to show you guys that we are on Android 12, I set up everything so all my apps are installing. Go to settings and then we're gonna go to about phone. Scroll down here and as you can see, Android 12. So if you guys have any questions, leave your questions down below. If you like the video, hit that like button, smash the subscribe button, as well as smash that notification bell. That way you are notified every time I release new content. This is Holla at your boy. I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here. Later.